In this question, a 20 kilogram sled is attached to a rope and the rope is being pulled at a 35 degree angle. If the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.15 and the sled is moving with a constant velocity, we want to know what is the tension force in the rope. I always start by drawing a free body diagram. We have the tension force, which is at a 35 degree angle. We have some kinetic friction between the sled and the surface. We have the force of gravity pushing down on the sled. And the normal force, which represents the surface pushing back up against the sled. Now because the tension force is at an angle, we can break the tension force into its x and y components. So we have Tx and ty. Now we can move on to writing our f net equations. Because we have forces acting along both the x-axis and the y-axis, we will need to use an f net x and an f net y. f net x is the sum of all the forces acting along the x-axis. So that would be tx minus the kinetic friction. Kinetic friction is negative because it's a vector that points to the left. Now we were told that the sled is moving with a constant velocity. That means there's no acceleration. So F net X is equal to zero. We can also replace the kinetic friction with mu K times N. And we can rearrange this equation to say that TX is equal to mu K times N. Now this equation contains TX, but we wanna solve for the tension force T. So how do we replace Tx with T? Well, let's do some vector addition. We can add Tx and Ty tip to tail and form a right angle triangle with our tension force T as the hypotenuse. And now we can use some trigonometry. So we know sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's start with sine. We know the opposite side is ty and the hypotenuse is t. If we rearrange this equation and add in our angle, we find that ty is equal to t sine 35 degrees. We can do the same with the cos. We know the adjacent side is tx, the hypotenuse is t, and when we rearrange this equation, we find that tx is equal to t cos 35 degrees. And now we have tx and ty in terms of our tension force T. So looking back at our F net X equation, I will replace TX with T cos 35. Now let's move on to our F net Y equation, which would be the sum of all the forces acting along the Y axis. So that would be the normal force plus TY minus the force of gravity. F net Y is equal to zero because the sled is not moving up or down so there's no net force along the y-axis. We can also replace ty with t sine 35 degrees, and we can replace the force of gravity with mg. Now looking at this equation, we have the mass of the sled, we know the acceleration due to gravity, we're solving for the tension t, but we're missing the normal force. So how do we solve for the normal force? Well, look back at our f net x equation. If we rearrange it, we can see that the normal force is equal to T cos 35 degrees divided by mu K. That means we can take this value for the normal force and plug it in to our F net Y equation. And then the only unknown variable will be the tension force, which is what we want to solve for. So I will take my F net Y equation I will plug in the value for the normal force that we got from the F net X equation, and then I will start plugging in my values and simplifying the equation. And once I've plugged in my values and simplified the equation, we can see that the tension force is equal to 32.5 newtons. And that is the answer to this question. Check out my other forces questions to keep testing your knowledge.